The power of appreciation is the power of attraction. The power of appreciation is the power of attraction. That means what you appreciate, you will attract to you. You cannot, you know, be, be negative towards something and have that thing work for you. You know, you can't. You can't. You know, if I see something that's wonderful about a man, I don't need to want to get his own. There's a God that has all grace. I can just say, Lord, I thank you for this beautiful thing because I'm appreciating it in you. And I'm just saying, it's so beautiful on you. I love it. Do you know what? God will say, my son, you love it? I say, yeah, it's so beautiful. Do you know what? He'll begin to direct that thing to me. Because grace is capacity to perform. So think about it. Grace is capacity to perform. Then he now says, he give it more grace. So instead of reading, he give it more grace. Can we read? Can we replace grace for capacity to perform? Read it. Everybody read. Let's read. Say it one more time. This is, this is also something beautiful. Because now he shows you he give it more grace. Then he even gives you. He shows you something. Wherefore he said, because of this thing, he says this. God resisted the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. So now we see, not just that he giveth more grace, we also see the kind of person he gives grace to. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I've been in this zone for 20 years. I was here when the zone started and still they have not made me, they are not recognizing me. Keep doing your hair like this. The more you say you are not being recognized, the more nobody is recognizing you. He says, promotion does not come from the east, from the west, from the south. Then he didn't say anything about the north. Because promotion actually comes from the north. He says, promotion comes from above. It comes from above. And God is in the north. He's in the north. Listen to me. The more God blesses you, he shows you in that scripture, the more humble you should be. If you want this prosperity, just, okay, you just imagine your, your account just gets your first one million. Just your first one million. Your first one million made you, you, you're not coming to church anymore. How would God send you more millions? He gave it more grace to the humble. What is humility? Now, humility is not talking with a soft voice. You know, there are some people that are so quiet. <laughs> they are like this, eh? But they are very stubborn. Very stubborn. We want to give for absolute realities. We look for people to give. <laughs> Pastor, we will give. That's what they are saying here. Inside, they are thinking, hmm, it's not me or they're not going to catch me. My, my husband is already inside this rhapsody team. I'm not entering. It, it's good for one of us to be inside. Let one other person be outside, be checking the head of the other one. If two of us enter and our head now gets loose, nobody will help us. So let me stay on this side. God sees everything. Sees everything. Sees everything. What's humility? I've told you before. Humility. Humility is the submission of your will, your way, your thoughts to God's will, God's way, and God's thoughts. That's humility. Simple. Humility is elevating God's word above your emotions. Elevating God's thoughts above your will. Elevating, placing God's word above your own opinion. That's humility. What is pride? Pride is not even do your hand like this. Pride is elevating your ways, your thoughts, your opinion above God's own thoughts, opinion and will. That's pride. If God says to you, you are healed, healed. 
How can you just say I'm healed? Me, I know I'm not healed. That's right. Okay. How can God say something? You say he's not. You know, it says, let God be true and every man what? That's what the scripture says. But God has given us more grace. I said the grace you came in with today is not the same grace that you have now. I, I think somebody got it there. Somebody got it there. He gave it more grace. He gave it more grace. Say so he gave it more grace. He gave it more grace. Now let's look at the scriptures again. Let's look at the scriptures again. Second Corinthians. Now I want to observe that scripture we just read in James. He says he gives more grace. So it's not just something he did before, he continues to do it. So there is no there's no shortage. You know, it just continues to flow. Just continues to flow. So he gives more grace. So I'm not going to wonder what my life is going to be like. Now I can see why that scripture works. The path of the righteous is like a, as a shining light. You know, that shines brighter and brighter. Even unto the perfect day. Come on, amen. Say that God gives more grace. Say that grace continues to increase. Look at, look at the way proud people talk. The way proud people talk. So, hmm. Hmm. Tell Pastor Mitchell, I know him all. I know him. I know him. Is he the one that is going to preach at IVPC now? Me, I'm not going for IVPC. I'm not sitting down. I've been listening to him. I taught him in foundation school. <laughs> that is pride. The more you're doing your face like this, the more God is promoting the person. <laughs> Do you know, God will promote that person until you'll be very foolish not to recognize the promotion. Go promote the person until the people that you are respecting will start respecting the person. Then the day you're not respecting the person, it is someone who you hold in very high regard that will talk to you and say, are you okay? <laughs> 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 